Hi chums, I'm Colonel Fayer, you're back again with Soviet Republic and the workers' resources and the trains and oil and all of that business. Uh, we're looking at the train depot, which is fascinating. Deeply, deeply fascinating. No, I'm not waiting for a train to come past, although if I were patient enough, there is one approaching just over the horizon at the moment. But no, no, that's not why we're here. We are here because there's a train in here and I want to buy uh, some more bits for it. So this is our oil shipment train out to the border. And it needs another couple of uh, another couple of wagons, uh, because uh, the amount that we're we're hauling is starting to get uh, significant now. What's the what's that take me up to? Three and another five, seven, eight. Now nah, two more. Yeah, love it. And obviously, once I'm starting to ship more crude oil in, and with the production rate that we've got, yeah, oh, big things, big things are going to happen. Right? Yeah, good. I'm done with you. Come here, you, and uh, get back to work. Uh, wait while train fully enter the depot. I train is fully into the depot. Oh, hold on. Let's uh, let's turn the speed back on. I, I, I paused it. See uh, to uh, to to capture this this moment of of majestic something or other. Go. There you are. Look right. Okay. So we kick off with a train exiting the depot, and it's uh, it's a slightly beefier length number now, and that's good. It's probably going to wreck every junction that I've built so far. Well, I figured we'd follow this as far as the border before we crack on with today's adventure. And uh, I'll tell you what, follow along with the HUD turned off. That's rather splendid. Uh, for those of you not already aware, Control G. HUD's turn the, hot, uh, the uh, HUD off, on, on, off, off and on button. Oh, don't get held at the signal. No, 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 no. We don't want to wait for this coal train. It is a drag race. Who's going to get through the signal? We are in your face, coal train. Marvellous. Oh, that was, that was an unexpected treat for us all there. Uh, we're going past a construction yard. That's, that's fun too. Hey, this is more scenic than I was expecting. I don't know if it's more scenic than you were expecting, but it's more scenic. So all right, I take it all back. Now we've just got a good look at some trees. Brilliant. Um, anyway, what we're testing for here is to see whether or not this does block the points. I don't think it will, but there is a, a reasonable chance that it will. Because uh, I have a tendency to build points far too close. See, look. Look where I put them. I mean, honestly. Now, I know the train does a flip around. But you can't rule out that when it flips around, it won't flip the cab up to the wrong end. Have we got... No, there isn't another switch on there. Right, okay. Well, let's... Let's see how this does, because it will do an immediate turnaround and head back again. Here we go. Yeah, super. Yeah, broken. Yeah, I had a, I had a feeling that would be the case. All right, okay, fine. Fine. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, I'll, I'll fix it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, I appreciate that you're going to get a bit confused as well. It's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build some more track. Just hang on a tick. Yeah. Yeah, this will probably turn around again. Which I'm pretty sure is what they do when they get all confused. There we go, build, turning it around the other way. And then if we stick a bit of track in there, that should sort it out. Now, it's not going to make a... Oh, hold on, that's properly confused it. I've, I've not tried that before, so who knows what's going on. Uh, let's up the tempo. Hello there. Yes. Good. Uh, view area closest to possible exits on its something or other exclamation mark. Uh, that's good. Right. Tell you what. Go to back to the custom house. Go go here. Go there. Go to that. Oh, change the direction. Let's let's do that, and then it can then it can reverse again happily. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's it. No, no. To oh, it's totally baffled now. Ah. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait. I suspect it's because I've got one-way signals on here. No, it should be. No, I should be able to do that. Oh no, that's uh, that's ruined everything. Oh no! Um, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's, uh, that's an interesting one. That one. Yeah, we've we've well and truly dilemmaed this train. But <laughs> the other one goes. Wait, fine. I'm selling booze. Um, right. Let's do that and then go to that stop. Right. You should be able to get through there. You should be able to. There you go. Magnifico. Now, obviously, this has created a new block here, uh, which means that you are going to get held at that signal if uh, if a train's on the other side of the track. But that's uh, that's not a not a massive deal breaker. 
Uh, right, let's get this booze train out of here, and then uh, then we'll we'll wait for this to flip around correctly, and we should be good to go. There you are, little little tiny train. Well done, good uh, good job there. Right now, you're going to go and do that. Yeah, that's all good. You come back the other way, and then we are back in business, like so. Okay, good. Right, and then you can go through here. Yeah, there we go. Everything's back working again. We better check it down to the other end as well, just to be on the safe side. And I know that checking things aren't broken is not necessarily the most riveting thing you might see today. Well, it is. I, I can't guarantee that anything's going to be more exciting than this. Uh, how much space have you got here? Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, probably not enough. Oh, just, just short. Is it, though? Is it just short? Yeah, yeah, certainly looks just short. Let's see what it does once it's topped up. Uh, but the reason we're doing this is because I had 900 tons of air broken. Ah, oh, flipping heck. All right, well, that's, uh, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? That's, uh, that's the, the horns of a dilemma. That one and everything was, was pretty keen before that. All right, let's wait for it to go the other way and then pause. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Right, okay, that's got it. Now then, what are we going to do here? Well, it's this junction here is the problem, and I can't fix that while the train's on it. Or rather, I, I think the train's going to have some uh, some issue with me attempting to fix that while the train's on it. Uh, but uh, we, we've got to do something. So, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, 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 what? Why are you giving me red on there? I don't know. Let's just try deleting something at random. Can't do that. Oh, dear. Okay, well, uh, sliding a sneaky junction in there, that would that would solve the problem. I mean, not not in a good way. Can't there's one or more vehicles using this crossing? No, there aren't. Yeah, there are. No, you've still got the bulldozer on. Oh, okay. All right. yeah, that's all right. Uh, let's do that. Crossing not allowed. Why? Go on. Sure it is. Sure it is. It's fine. Because if it's not fine. Then this is all broken! Oh no! I've ruined everything! <laughs> Alright, okay, well... Hmm, there's a, there's, a, there's a thorny one for you. Right, let's get rid of that. And while we're at it, let's get rid of this. I guess a re I guess this is turning into a remodeling moment. That's uh, it's gonna be fun for all, and obviously it doesn't remodel anything until I unpause the sucker again. Uh, right, okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a diamond crossing in here. Why Why am I putting a diamond crossing in here? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, I'm putting a diamond crossing in here because this will provide an outlet for future problems that I create. Okay, so if we now rip this up at high speed, I'm pretty sure that took. Yeah, it's not a very attractive diamond crossing you've built there. Yeah, I know, but it kind of works. It, it sort of does the thing. So you're coming out this way. So you'll take the diamond crossing... And then you are free and clear of that area. So then we pause again. And then we go and talk to Madam Baldozo. Hello, Madam. Uh, it's lovely to see you. Uh, you're looking resplendent today in your uh, shiny orange livery. Uh, right. Get rid of... No? What, what's the problem? You, well, you're trying to dis destroy the wrong thing. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Marvellous. Now, well, the, the mistake that I'd made there was uh, I made that double track. doesn't need to be double track, because uh, we only need one train in there at a time. So, uh, single... Woo! Woo, woo, woo. Having to turn the bulldozer back off again. Actually, I'm not certain I didn't press the button at all there, in which case I would have to... What's, what's, going, on? what's going on here? Concentrate. This is not a forgiving game when it comes to track laying. Sure it is. You sure? Because why have we now got a kink in there? I don't know. Do you want to do it a third time? Well, the first two times don't appear to have ultimately been that successful. So, so yeah, I think I probably do. Uh, what do I actually need to click on to make this not happen? Let it get built. There we go. Get built. All right. Kink in track. Not good. Not good enough. Is kink in track? Get uh, get shot of this. Can't do that. But what, what do you need me to? Why do I need to have my cursor all the way over here? You cockamamie machinery. There you are. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 
They are an habit and this bit an habit. I see. Okay, the red. Follow the bouncing cube is the secret weapon here. Right. Hold on, I'll let it go because otherwise we're going to have the. Uh, there you are. The, the brake sound on indefinitely, which I'm sure is a, is a thrill for everybody involved. Uh, but uh, ultimately, no, let's not. It's going to put a kink in there because of the way it's snapping. That's very strange. It is a bit. Yeah. Because this should be this should be perfectly aligned. So if I, no, why are you why are you doing this to me? I don't understand what have I what have I done to offend you, sir? Uh, why is it that thou art uh, now throwing fisticuffs in my direction vis-a-vis -vis a piece of wonky track? Let's try it again. There you go. That's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's better. Yeah, that's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Well, I don't know. It might be good. Right. Let's get that built. Right, good. Right, that's still got a bit of a bend in it there, but that's okay uh, because we can now we can now at least fix that which has been broken, and then return and put some signals on it all. Right, let's get everything out of the way because I'm, I'm going to need to mess with this. And pause. Right. Okay, we've got one signal here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it should be fine. Yeah, I'll grab that. Go all the way over. Can we slip junction on this? Is that a thing you allow? Feels like the sort of thing you should allow. Or, if not that, it feels like something that I would find really agreeable right now. Let's, uh, let's, hold on, what's this? Cancel railway, no, no. Cancel semaphore, yes. Right. Uh, let's put the railway back in. And then let's make that really, really lengthy. Really, really lengthy. Okay, like that. Yeah. Now, the fact that it's highlighting the yellow track there possibly suggests that it might be agreeable to a bit of slip junction action. I've got no evidence of that in the slightest. I've no idea if it will do it or not. Uh, if it won't, then I will require a second piece of track to, uh, to do some kind of parallel manoeuvres here. So something from about there down to about here. All right, let's put it in anyway. All right, does that look like it works? Oh, that definitely looks like it works. Right, now, bung some signals in, and then everybody will be somewhat less unhappy with you than they are at the moment. All right, yeah, there you go. That's that one. Yes. One here. Yep. Uh, one here. And a two-way. Mm. Yeah, we probably do need that one to be two-way. Okay, cool. Uh, and then this one. Uh, one way. All right. And then a bit more up here. Sure. Yeah, one way, and that way. Right, good. I reckon that's probably fixed it. And if it hasn't, it's probably not made it any worse than it was already. So, uh, I reckon that's probably working. I have no evidence to suggest that that's going to work. I've got I've got no clue. But it, it's a thing. That train's just left, so that's that's something. We can, uh, we can all celebrate that together. Good. Okay. Right, fine. Shall we get on with the uh, main part of... Oh, there's a new vehicle available. I don't care about that. Uh, well, it's, it's, well, set fire to the message. Oh, it's attractive, though. Right, got rid of it. Are we going to wait for the train to come back? Is that what you're telling me? I think it might be. Hold on. Where are we? Here we go. Coming back now. Uh, let's have a quick look at the cash while we wait for that. Uh, down 33 grand so far this month, uh, which is May. Uh, we've sold 142 grand's worth of exports, and then I've uh, I've bought another 80 k's worth of uh, of vehicles. The downside is we've imported 87 grand's worth of stuff, but I did build some track, so you know, you've you've got to give credit where it's due. Or well, you you've got to make you've got to make allowances. So here we go. It will be loading up bitumen at the moment, which it is doing. And it's it's proper getting through it as well, which is good. Or is it? Uh, we really don't want it hanging out here too long. Although, it's, it's saying that, uh, bitumen is the uh, is the profitable side of this arrangement. Cool. Cut off the uh, the incoming oil train there like a boss. Uh, you should be clear to go by now, surely. No, you need some more signals down here. Okay. All right. Well, I'll put some in. That's fine. Uh, we'll stop running at high speed in a moment as well. Uh, right. Slap that in here. Yeah. That's it. Slap this in here. No there no no actually we do want to slap this in here do we it makes me really uncomfortable putting signals that close to a, uh, a crossing 
Yeah, I know, but that's just how this game likes to roll. Uh, so, uh, you know, just, just live with it. Right, I'm pretty sure that all works now. Let's slow this back down to a sensible pace and head over to Pumpergrad, uh, where uh, pumping is occurring. Now then, pumping is currently not occurring, of course, because I haven't built any oil derricks yet. And oil derricks are kind of, you know, the thing that does the pumping. So we've got a reasonable size area. It's not enormous, but we've got a reasonable size area with a, a decent density of oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm even going to use... Uh, some of the sections that, that really don't have very much oil in, because it all counts. Uh, even, you know, a thin source will, uh, will, make, uh, will make us some cash. Hold on, that was only smoothing. All right, get it finished smooth, get it placed. Right, and then you'll see, like you see, now that we're not overlapping that, we can slap another one in here, because the, uh, the whole aim of this endeavor is to, uh, is to get as much out of it as possible. Uh, so if we then stick another one back here. Now, of course, all this means that I'm going to have to revisit my uh, my oil refining area in Dallas and uh, and get that tuned up to uh, to accept more and lengthier trains as well. We'll even do for a, do for a bit of cannibalization as a building on fire. I don't really want to be concentrating on that right now. Where is it? Which one? Uh, flats in Tantrum. Uh, they'll be all right. That's okay. We've got a fire department somewhere within a couple of thousand miles of that. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be good, or it'll burn to the ground, one or the other. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, right. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, we'll keep putting them in now because once we've, uh, once we kind of maxed out the, uh, maxed out, uh, maxed out the uh, the number of rigs here, we'll uh, we'll stick in a tank or two. To act as a, a you know, a, a holding area for that which hath been harvested. Uh, so that in flat, there's loads. Should we just go with these for now? Yeah, let's let's try and recoup uh, early, shall we? Right, where's an out? There's an out. Right, so we've got three ins to play with, and uh, we're going to need a few tanks, I reckon. All right, well, wang this one in here. And let's get underway. Now, as long as this one doesn't catch fire, uh, you know, if, if an oil tank catches fire, based on where I've got them located, that's probably going to be quite bad news. But it's, uh, it's nothing that, you know, I didn't enjoy building the first time and therefore will probably enjoy building a second time. Uh, right, slap this one into that one. Hill is causing an obstruction. What? Yeah, I don't believe you. Which hill are we talking about here? I mean, that's okay, okay, you're right. There is a little bit of an indentation. I'll grant you that. Uh, right, stick. There's a hill causing an... Well, you just would you. What if I were to elevate it a little bit? Which was last episode's most common comment. You know, you can elevate the pipelines, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Elevate the pipelines, yeah, yeah. Must go to what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's, that's a flipping out. Oh, where are you going to take that then? I don't know. Good, good. It's nice to see that you've uh, you've got all this worked out in advance. Look, I'm just threading in a bit of pipe. I thought to myself, possibly wrongly, how complicated can it be? And the answer is more complicating than you're giving it credit. Now, there is uh, there is the very real possibility here that we've got some oil flowing. We've got some oil flowing. And it's moving along the pipeline, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's a thing that's occurring. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. It's not bad. Right. How many more have we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Plus uh, uh, Johnny No Connection. Yeah. See, look, fire's gone out. Told you. Um, right. So a second tank uh, and a pump to go into it is what we're going to want here. And you might go, eh, it feels a bit excessive. And I go, I know, eh, it does feel a bit excessive. But if I'm going to expand on this area at all, then, uh, then we are going to need to do this kind of thing. Uh, right, slap that one in about there. Yep, yep, yep. Make your machine gun noise and, and bung that in. Uh, root that onto here. Now, I don't know what the throughput on these pipes is. I suspect quite strongly we're going to find out. But, you know, it is, there's a, there is a, a, a bit of a risk that, uh, that I'm going to end up topping the oil up way more than I can uh, 
than I can actually cope with. Right, let's take that up there. Try it again. There you go, that's in. Yeah, it's, it's in. But there's a there's a critical error in your pipe work there. The critical error in question being you've you've broken it. All right, do it again. Grab that, go into that. That seems to be right. Uh, we like to have a little bit of a gap. It lets it breathe, uh, basically. So, see, you know, that's good. Are you building up? What's the problem? I haven't got buildings. I haven't got power supply. Oh, dear, dear. All right. Well, I'll I'll put one in for you in a moment. Uh, but we've got we've got other fish to fry first. I want to get this done. And then I want to see what sort of impact that has on existing operations. Right, we've got one more in on that. And that's your lot. Okay, so well, we can go pump to pump. Can I, are you really? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can, we can daisy chain a couple of pumps together. Uh, so that's got three ins. So if I stick you about there. Yep, okay. And then we've got two left. So I'll build a third one to go with that. And that's going to go about... Ooh, let's say here. No. Let's say, right, wait for it, wait for it. There. Yes. Right, and then uh, get me another. That's all right. Look, this is this is all making total sense in my head. Uh, and then we want another oil rig. Out there somewhere, maybe. Show me a color that I like the looks of. That'll do. Yeah, and this is this is purely because, I mean, it's not that I like the color of this one particularly. It's more that it's in a good place to uh, to make this work stick that in there go right now i have excommunicated quite a lot of dosh to make this happen thank you uh their autosave um but at, uh i think it i think the juice is going to be worth the squeeze uh eventually uh what are you i'm a i'm an oil derrick catching pipeline system yeah these pipes aren't cheap you know no what do you want me to do about it no, nothing. It's just a, you know, that's a comment about the price of pipe work these days. Yep. Okay, good. So we've now got two outs and we need, we've got one in there. So we need another one of these. Yeah, it's going to grab from both of those. Do you think it's going to be able to do that? I've got absolutely no idea. There you go. Slap that in there. Now, they're not going to do anything at the moment. They're all going to start belly aching about not having any power. Uh, but I'll fix that in a minute. And there. Yep. And into there. Hill's causing an obstruction. All right, whatever. Slap down there. And job done. Groovy. Right, that is a quite a lot of uh, of your pipe work system, uh, congealment settlement kind of stuff, kind of thing. Uh, right, do you need juice? Yes, you all do, because they're all sat there going, excuse me, um, I don't appear to have any power. This one, however, is unpowered because apparently pumps don't need power. No, apparently not. All right, okay. Well, I would have thought a pump definitely did need power because they're the kind of things that you put power on and they, then it turns on. I'll tell you nothing, I've got a pump in my house somewhere. If you turn the electricity off, the pump stops working. Uh, right, okay, well, uh, let's, uh, let's bang in a substation or six and uh, everything will work. Yeah, you lot, you do you, you fancy having a? Yeah, I think they do. All right, we'll stick one in there. And then uh, I mean, one over here somewhere. No, hold on, you're missing the one down there. All right, okay, yeah, stick that one in. Yeah. And then I think that, well, no, no, you're, you're not done yet. You're still on infrastructure there, Tiger. <gasps> what did I just see? Ships, ooh, and cable cars. What for? I don't know what that's for. But I know that I need it. Oh, okay, right. Well, that's the next episode planned out then. Uh, no, no, we're, we're going to finish this pipe work. Stop getting overexcited. Um, and then we'll we'll use the new stuff in the next episode. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the, uh, the cable car stuff is new. I recall having seen something on the subject fairly recently. Uh, but uh, it might be from the last one. Right, stack, stack that in there. And as long as that tank is now powered up, we should be golden. No, mate, I've uh, I've got no power. All right, now look, here's the thing. The tank, I don't reckon needs power, all right? But the uh, the pumps, I would say probably, probably do need power. Are you working? Yes. Are you working? Yes. Are you? Yeah, you're working. This one, working. They're all now doing the pump to pump to pump, pump, pump. Uh, that's, uh, that's a good thing, because that's what you want them to do. Right, grab this, grab it, no, grab that, yes. 
to grab this. Uh, ooh, what are you? Are you you're high powered? Okay. Well, aren't you important? Um, right. Okay. Well, I'm, in that case, I reckon we'll bung this in here as a piece of uh, extra kind of ancillary backup generator substation behavior in case the primary backup substation generator styly uh, goes skew whiff in the night. Right. You happy now? I am happy. Good. The number is going up. This means the pump cannot cope. This one, the number is going up. It either means that the pump can't cope or the reciprocal tank at the other end, which is here, can't cope. Flipping can cope, mate. What's your problem? Oh, yeah. No, well, well it's going to cap out then, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Don't know what else you could do. You'd have to run a secondary pipeline down there to make it move any faster, I guess. Because it's not like we haven't got space. So this one roots through into here, which is, you know, that's rattling up fairly quickly. And that then pumps through onto the train section. So currently, you've got... Right, here we go. Let's start totaling these up. We've got 55 in that one. We've got another 55-odd in that one. This one is in the 40s. Okay, and then this one is also in the 40s. So that's the, uh, the, the tanks with a direct connection. Okay, and what's your point? Well, the point is, the train just left. I know, because I saw it. Uh, where do you go? Which is it? Oh, it's the short one. Okay, so the short one was in there, and you're saying, what, four tanks with maybe 40 in each at the time it left. So there was another 160 available to be picked up at that moment. Yeah, I reckon that's about right. Okay, what do you want to do about it? I'm going to stick another couple of wagons on the on the short one, and then between that and the long one, it should uh, it should sort itself out nicely. Now let's just I just want to do another quick check over here before we uh, skirt our way back to the uh, the main operational system. You're now building up to forty odd. You've got eighty odd now. This pump is not up to it. The engines are not are currently not operating. Destination is full or does not require resources right now. Well, that ain't true. The destination most certainly is not full. Fill that flipping tank up. Maybe it'll pull through. Maybe uh, I, that's that would be a thing to wait for. All right, hold on. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hit the turbos and we'll see what happens. Uh, so we're waiting for the next train to come in. Here it comes now. Let's see. Good eye there. Thank you, draw distance. You are the true saviour. Right, now, when this comes in, because it, it looks like this is only ever staggering itself to do like 0 0.4, 0 0.5 of a litre of a tonne. 0 0.5 of a litre really isn't very much. No, 0 0.5 of a tonne is quite a lot by comparison. Um, right, okay, so if we look at these, what we're expecting is once this train starts filling up, that these drain a little quicker. Uh, train is in. All right, here we go. Here we go now. Here it is. That's uh, going up. This one is going up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, no, no, no. You've very clearly demonstrated this theory to be bang on the money. Yeah. No, it's, uh, no, no, it's continuing to build up. Right. The pumps are not up to the job. The the, the throughput on the pipeline is is not sufficient. What have we got left here after just doing that top up? This one, that one, this one, that one. 11, 11, 11. All right, okay. So it did actually drain them all. And presumably you've got a full load there, Trigo? Trigo? Try, 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 yes, you've got 480 tons. Okay. All right. Okay. Right, what do we want to do about that? Nothing just yet. We'll, we'll grab the small one, bang another couple of cars on there, and uh, oh, we missed it. Yeah, yeah, I missed it. Okay, we're going to have to grab it in a moment uh, because we'll send that back to the uh, to the depot here. Bang another couple of cars on, and that uh, that should keep us uh, keep us going. Now we've got nothing in the main tank. How are we doing here? It's it's bundling through quite a lot of stuff. Uh, now, as was pointed out, and as I already knew, uh, the bitumen tank having 146 tons in there is fine. It will quite happily push through anything beyond the 146 tons that it's got in there 
into the wrong one into the export tank which we should witness any moment no it's just it's just keeping 146 t uh, tons back in case of emergency uh, because having a bitumen emergency is is something you really don't want i've got 400 workers in this factory that's brilliant um and look at this i mean the, the amount of fuel we've got we've got a tank with 900 tons of fuel right here crumbs um <laughs> and it's just sat there going come on in and this is the only train that is currently doing anything with oil now this train carries 600 tons so we'll empty out two-thirds of that but it will immediately refill the, it, enough so that there would be a whole train's worth waiting there afterwards. Now, has, is this allowing the, the, the bitumen tank to fill up? No, it's not. Interesting. So if you can't produce fuel, you can't produce bitumen neither. Well, then you need another fuel outlet. Well, what we could do... I mean, it's very expensive... Go on. Well, I mean, you could put another train on there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure. I don't think putting another train on there is really the way to go. Look, I mean, we've already got a queue going on at the border uh, to, to drop stuff off. It's not a very long queue, but then I'm not running very many trains. Hang on, why are you stopped? Uh, because this is a block now? Oh, I see. And then you can't go, yeah, because this is a block as well. That's about the size of it. Okay, good. That's all. That's really super helpful of you. I mean, just super helpful. So if I stick a signal on here, like that, you can move forwards, which slaps that one into this tiny, tiny, tiny little block. This one still can't go because that's still in that block. Oh my goodness, you flipping what now? If we stick that on there, it might be able to. Might not. No, no, not is the is the word there. Okay, well, if you change that to I don't know, I don't know what's happening. Okay, phantom train. All right, well it's doing the it's doing the thing. Yeah, that junction's going to need reworking, guff. Oh, yeah, I know, but you've got to learn how to use block signals at some. Whoa, where are you going? Oh, you've because uh, you've got a signal on the wrong side. There you go. Come on, carry on, carry on. You're all right. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, I had too many signals there, but it's all right. Everybody will be. Everybody will figure it out. And I mean, if the solution is I've just got to turn up there regularly and uh, and and plonk some more signals in, then you know I'm cool with that. Uh, right, where's the tiddler? If we can upgrade the tiddler, that'll do us for the uh, for the show today. And then we can move on to other things next time. There you go. 594 tonnes of fuel on board. And I imagine the tank is, is filling up pretty quickly. Uh, see, look, the tank is filling up pretty quickly. We could do another 600, uh, 600 tonnes of it immediately. Well, wait, wait, keep your eyes peeled. If you're running at high speed... Don't turn your attention elsewhere, or else you will have trouble. Right, so now we should be filling the bitumen up, which we are. Okay, but it's still not dropping. I don't understand why it is uh, why it's opting to hang on to 146 tons. What is magic about 146 out of, 100, out of 250? Is there a golden ratio going on there that I'm not familiar with? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Come on, commenters, you know everything. Tell me why. That, uh, and, I, and I, I don't mind Mondays. I'm okay with them. So that's not the uh, question I'm looking for the answer for. No, you seem to have an answer to everything else. Tell me the answer to that. Why is it hanging on 246 tons? When it could be just spouting them straight out to the tank. And no, I will not accept COS video games as an answer. Nope, nope, that's not one you could do. How many people in the radio station? Like, plenty. Good. Good. We're not really encouraging anybody to get educated. Good. We're just trying. We're, we're trying to deprogram them a little bit from religion, uh, just so that they're less unhappy about a lack of religion. 
As, uh, you know, that's just the, the state of affairs we find ourselves in. We're just waiting for this little train to turn up. I could edit this bit out, but you never know when I might come up with a startling piece of commentary. Not now, obviously. No, mine completely blank, waiting for the punchline to this show, which, it has to be said, may not end up being that good a punchline. But we daren't leave, just in case it's a belter. I'm not doing a... No, no, we're just, we're just waiting for a train, and it's a train that works very effectively. There he comes. Look, here he comes. Here he comes. We've got to intercept him on the way back, send him back to a depot, and then you see the coda for the show is uh, is very similar to the opener, right? It's uh, it's like a very nice, neat piece of topping and tailing. One might say it is cinematic in nature. One would be incorrect to do so, but they might say it anyway. Uh, right. We will once he's uh, once he's in and unloaded, we'll flip him around and uh, intercept it on the way back. Can it even get into the depot? Yes, it can get into the depot. Right. And as soon as you leave the depot there, that's when we'll do the thing. As soon as, you, as, soon as you're done there, it, that's just the moment you're finished. Oh, there's even a countdown thing going on there. Right, okay, it's done. Send it to the depot. Good. Right, I'm in Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, this series will continue until the point that it stops. And then it won't continue until the point that it returns. Uh, subscribe to make sure that you keep up with it. And I'll be back very soon with another episode of Adventure. Cheerio! Well, I think we've rather stumbled upon the limitations of my original track layout. And that's, that's going to need to be fixed before too long. Um, yeah, handling a couple of trains, no problem. Once I've started to handle a bunch of trains, it's going to be a bit more of an issue, I would imagine. Ah, oh, well, I know, but that's that's where the fun is, is, uh, is dealing with the issues that you've created through your own myopic tendencies early on in the game. So uh, so fixing up the trains is going to happen later on. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty certain. Anyway, next time, I'm going to muck around with some cable cars, because uh, of course I am.